legislature will adjourn for the year on Monday. And as lawmakers prepare for a long weekend of debate, several bills are now in jeopardy of not passing after a rift Wednesday night. Valley News Team's Quinn Gorham has been following that story. He'll give us continuing coverage from St. Paul. Division, 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 division. What can only be described as chaos struck the House floor as the clock struck midnight on Wednesday. Following an hours-long debate on a paid leave bill, Speaker Melissa Hortman chose to ignore calls from GOP members to continue speaking. Uh, Republicans are engaged in an obvious filibuster to prevent a vote on the Equal Rights Amendment and also to keep the majority from finishing the work of the session. Hortman spoke about the ordeal during an afternoon press conference, alleging that for the second time this week, the GOP was engaging in procrastination tactics. But just as the rules provide that the minority has a right to be heard, the rules of the House also provide that the majority has the right and the responsibility to govern. The issue at the center of all of this is the Equal Rights Amendment, meant to enshrine equal protection under the law in the Minnesota Constitution for things like national origin, sex, race, and others. Republicans have taken issue with the inclusion of both gender identity and abortion rights. There is no Republican support in the House for that. It is not equal rights. It is actually uh, very divisive. It does not protect women. It does not protect our, our public spaces. Outside of a filibuster, the most Republicans can do is threaten to withhold votes. Everything is at risk right now. Bonding, sports betting, Uber Lyft, everything where Republican votes may be needed is at risk because of the action taken last night. But for Hortman and other members of her party, an equal rights amendment remains the top priority. The speaker made clear that sacrificing the ERA is not worth adopting those other bills. And Minnesota Democrats are just not going to negotiate away Minnesotan civil rights for a few construction projects. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. So the House is scheduled to take up the Equal Rights Amendment bill today. If it passes both chambers, it would still vote, require a vote on the 2026 ballot to be ratified.